So in this video, we're talking about the best places to invest in real estate. More at that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that some spots have opened up for this week's free workshop, where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. We literally have a 62 year old grandmother go from zero to $160,000 profit in 90 days. So check it out now. So of course, before we begin, this is a financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just some guy that really is interested, for example, in things that make money, right? But for example, one of the biggest things, like for example, when I first got started, in you know my success path and reading books like Rich Dad Poor Dad and getting more literate in finances because this is something that they don't teach us in school is understanding that when it comes to real estate and not just real estate but business in general, location is everything, right? And if you could understand the location and the concept behind real estate on essentially it's a piece of land with a good location where people are willing to rent from you, then I can essentially create passive income for myself where I never have to work a day ever in the rest of my life. But there's a lot of there's a lot of components to it. Like I said, it needs to be in a good location. It needs to be a good deal. You need to get it at a low price and you need to get people to rent it from you from a premium. It could be business owners and commercial properties or it could essentially be like for example your local mom and pop person that just wants to rent it or it could be a college student that says, "Hey, I want to live here because it's close to my college like like campus, right?" Whatever it is, the place is the most important. But what most people don't understand is if they take that concept of, you know, for example, real estate and they take it even online, there might be even better opportunities for the best places to make, for example, money with real estate. One of which you could see we pull in 35 grand to $46,000 a month in passive income for a real estate model that you've probably never heard of. But before we actually get into that, I wanna compare it to what most people actually see when they Google best places to, say, for example, uh, invest in real estate. When I Googled that, literally this thing comes up, noradarealestate.com, which I'm gonna literally put it up in the links below. And you can see one of the biggest things that they talk about, which I'm gonna to compare to this new method of real estate that you've never seen before, are basing these concepts of traditional old ways of real estate to the new way model, right? And they say, to get a really good investment, you need high rental occupancy, check how much are available housing stock market in the vacant area, high rentals relative to your mortgage payments, the more of your mortgage you can cover from rentals, the better, and a low tenant default rate. The last thing you want is to buy property in an area where tenants frequently miss rent payments. Because then, guess what? You literally taken out a mortgage to go ahead and get this property, but if no one's gonna pay the mortgage, you, you, you can't just not pay the mortgage, you're gonna have to front the cost. Right, so it could be completely risky if you don't actually have you know a good strategy with that. Which, like I said, with this new way of doing it, I don't have to face really much of any one of those difficulties. So let's talk about exactly what they talk about, and I'm gonna share exactly where I think is the opportunity for real estate and where a lot of people are double downing on. And guys, this isn't just me. This is something that we've been teaching around the world to places in Thailand, in Bali, and in Las Vegas when we have these events. Right. Well, the first one that you talk about is like Boise, Idaho. Now this is the number one place, by the way, because it's one of the best long-term real estate investments. The supply demand dynamics continue to drive home prices up in Boise. And you can see they're soaring and breaking records despite even like the pandemic. Persistently tight inventory in the entire market, coupled with historically low mortgage rates are keeping the demand high. Right, and of course you can see the medium sales price exceeds 500 grand, and you can see their latest quarter is 4% growth, which equates to an annual appreciation rate of nearly 20%, right? So that's already kind of like double just like an index fund in traditional methods. So you can see exactly how big that is. And the top reasons are, for example, job growth, strong population growth, job growth two to three times the national average, low cost of doing business, low unemployment rate, and ranked number six for most job growth. So you can see that it's like a really good hub. Dallas, Texas is another place that I wanted to, for example, move to when I was like younger because of just all the opportunity there. And you can see the population expected to double in the next 15 years, especially because there's a lot of people that are moving from California to Texas. So like the opportunity to be a lot higher. It's one of the leaders in US employment. And a lot of companies are actually in, for example, Texas that are like literally hiring people out from all of these places. So with all these jobs and all these growth, you could see that that's where the feet are moving. So sometimes the best deals is you literally see, okay, what real estate is right here, but will be over here. And how can you invest it when it's still right here? And if you could see some of these places that have that potential, I mean, it would be like a pretty good investment if you think about it. 
Next one is Houston, Texas. So it seems like a lot of these are like gonna come in from Texas just because of the situation of like, a lot of Californians are just leaving to go to Texas. It's like the Californian exodus. And you can see it's a number one market in the US for job creation, where when you have people that can afford, you know, good like prices, right? The jobs go up. Generally, the cost of living goes up, and with that, you know, houses can be sold at, like, for example, premiums. It's the fourth largest city in the U.S. 12-month no vacancy guarantee and 12-month home uh, uh, warranty with a 75,000 average purchase price, and medium rental is 1,500 bucks. Right, so you could see that you can make a good amount of money just from those places. And then of course they talk about like Atlanta, Georgia, Vegas, there's a lot of people moving to Vegas just because of the tax benefits, as well as like Florida, which is for the tax benefits. So if you literally see, if you break it down, the last places to grow is what actually supports the people that actually go ahead and live it for the long term where more people are gonna wanna move there. Because like I said, it's literally just like supply and demand. You literally need to find an opportunity before a lot of people go there and you need to get it while it's low. This is what a lot of people are doing in Bali. Like I literally live here in Bali and there's like this 11 year old girl that turned on $30 million, but this guy that makes a million dollars per month profit. But like these concepts, for example, in the US literally work in anywhere in the world. Like for example, here in Bali, it's like very interesting, right? Because it's essentially like this strip where people are just growing up the beach, right? So the good investments that, that people are seeing here, and remember this isn't financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, is people are seeing where the tourism is moving and literally buying property out like five or 10 years in advance to when you know the movement is gonna move there. And it's like pretty obvious, right? Like literally all people that live here in Bali, they don't live in the mountains unless you're like super spiritual, right? It starts from where the airport is and it literally moves up all across the beach. So the good investment properties are literally where, the tour, say the tourism stops here and all of the cafes and co-working spaces are here, the good opportunities where the people are investing here are literally the ones that are gonna be the big popping spaces just a little bit north of the beach. So you can see, this is exactly where like all these people that I interview on my podcast, like this 11 year old girl that turned on $30 million and this guy that makes a million dollars from the profit, they all live like here, right? And essentially what happens is everyone starts off here, right? But you could see that people have been slowly starting to like just build like north and north and north. You can see these lines, these are just cities. But yeah, this is still all of Bali. That's still uninhabited, right? And every three to five years, the, the population and the tourism just moves a little bit north and a little bit north and a little bit north and a little bit north. So what the good investors end up doing is they're just literally buying it just a little bit forward and just being more patient with it, right? And you know, the same thing get even done online. Like for example, right now, you know, we're getting good, good amounts of payments because we know exactly where the trends are going, but we know a lot of the attention is also going online. So if you see what I'm doing, you literally see that like, for example, September one, September one, September one. So just like that, we already published three articles in a single day, right? Talking about, for example, YouTube affiliate marketing or selling on Amazon versus eBay or reverse dropshipping. You're probably wondering why the heck am I doing it? Because I know that these are trends that are just gonna get higher and higher and higher. Same way how I know that if I get something here, I know tourism is gonna move north and north and north. I'm just five or 10 years advanced, right? Like if you really think about it, I'm talking about concepts where more and more people are gonna hear about this five or 10 years in the future. What does that mean? I can literally get all of the upside of all these companies that want to rent out my space to these people to go ahead and sell their products. Now that's literally the digital real estate model. Same with how you get a piece of property in a good place where you know commercial businesses could rent that from you because there's a lot of traffic that drives in front of the stores. Exact same thing happens online. I'm literally developing digital real estate by creating content. And this happens when I make YouTube videos or when I make blog posts where I can essentially rent it out to people for a fee and guess what, they always pay on time. I don't have to worry about tenants, right? Like what I would have to if I continued like going into like the real estate profession that I wanted when I went and tried getting my real estate license when I took the test and everything. And this is before, you know, I tried making money online, before, you know, I, I went and built a business from like zero to $8,000 in 30 days for one, to zero to $6,000 in 30 days for another, to zero to $1.6 million that first year with 30% profit margins. This is before all that. For all that and in between, you know, that online business and, you know, following the per the path of dentistry, right? There was a point where I tried getting into real estate. I was like, man, this is complicated. This is overwhelming. That's super competitive. But if I could find a way where I could win, I might as well just double down on that. And I ended up doing it. And 
I have succeeded. And of course, if you want to find faster and easier ways to make money with digital real estate, and you want to find out what we teach to people all around the world in these events, like this one in Thailand, this one in Bali, this one in, for example, uh, Las Vegas, then join this week's free workshop below where not only we're gonna teach you the fast and easiest way to create this form of digital real estate, but also how to maybe even qualify for one of our future upcoming events for free. So check it out in the link below. Hope you subs. Check out my podcast of all these really successful people that live here in Bali, here and right here. Hope you subs. Love you guys. See you guys later. Woo!